assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to my channel today's topic is about middle english period or the anglo norman periods which started around 1100 ad and lasted till 1500 and ad some of the major points which we will discuss today are the history of anglo normans or middle english period their and their important works and figures like what were the important works in this era and who were the important figures in this era okay okay so the first thing we have is the defeat of the anglo saxon king okay the first era which we studied was the anglo saxons ones so now in this era there was a defeat of the anglo saxons king so the normans who were residing in normandy france where were they residing normandy okay nor mandy which was in france okay so normans who were residing in normandy france defeated the anglo saxon kings at the battle of hastings which occurred in 1066 and conquered england okay kindly apne sath ye note kar liya kare kaun si battle mein anglo saxon king ko shikast hui thi battle of hastings mein theek hai ji these are important in respect to your mcqs which are very 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 helpful in your english lectureship uh, tests which are conducted by public service commission of kp or punjab it's also helpful in your ss subject specialist tests also helpful in css mcqs part of the english subject uh, paper like english literature or english in general okay the next point we have is conquest on inaugurated a new period in literary as well as history of england acha ji kaun se conquest ki baat ho rahi hai which were the conquest which was won by the normans okay so this conquest conquest inaugurated a distinctively new period in the literary as well as history of england okay the next point we have not only brought soldiers traders but also imported scholars to revive knowledge who are they talking about who are we talking about here who not only brought soldiers they are talking about the normans okay the normans not only brought soldiers traders but also imported scholars to revive knowledge okay they not only brought soldiers and traders with themselves but also imported scholars so as to revive knowledge chronicles to record memorable events okay chronicles in order to record memorable events and minstrels to celebrate victories okay ji what are minstrels can somebody tell me in the comment section what is minstrels okay let me know what you guys think about minstrels what are the minstrels please comment down below and let me know what are minstrels the next point which we have is difference between the two periods okay what was the main important difference which occurred in these in these two periods it was the marked by the difference between the two periods is marked by the disappearance of the old english period let me write it down to you guys what happened this appearance of old english poetry okay what happens old english poetry the main difference between the anglo saxons and the anglo normal period is that there was a dip disappearance of the old english poetry okay then 
the next point is obvious change in the literary expression the most obvious change in the literary expressions appears in the vehicle employed which vehicle matlab kaun si medium ki baat ho rahi hai it is the medium of language so what happened the clergy insti- insisted in the anglo norman period insisted on the use of latin what did the clergy in uh, insisted upon the clergy insisted upon the use of latin why the nobility insisted on the use of french okay and no one literally no one saw the utility of english the next thing or the next heading or the next topic which we have is the some of the important literary works and figures so what were the some of the important works or and figures number 1 is romances what were romances romances were basically the most popular form of literature during the middle english period or the anglo norman period okay and these are what what they were notable for the rom- romances what were the romances notable for they were notable for stories rather than their poetry okay they are notable for stories and they were mostly borrowed from either latin and french sources okay the romances were mostly borrowed from latin and french sources and it dealt with the stories of king arthur war of troy mythical doings of camelink and of alexander the great okay what they dealt with it dealt with the stories of king arthur war of troy mythical doings of the camelink and alexander the great then what do we have the second point is the miracle and mystery plays so what are miracle and mystery plays miracle plays deal with the creation fall and banishment of man from the garden of eden okay while in morality plays there is a struggle between the powers of good as well as evil okay what do we have next it's william langland okay William Langland was one one of the most uh, liter most important literary figure of the Middle English period or the Anglo Norman period. So William Langland lived uh, from around eighteen thirty two or thirty one, and till when he lived, it's not known. Okay, so. William Langland was one of the greatest poet of Middle English period and his poem A Vision of Peers of the Plowman holds an important place in English literature. Then the next person who we have is Geoffrey Chaucer. Okay? So who was Geoffrey Chaucer? Geoffrey Chaucer lived from 1340 to about 1400 okay geoffrey chaucer lived from 1340 to 1400 he was the real founder of english poetry that's why he is rightly called as the father of english poetry some of his there are many of uh, his important poems one of the most important his most important famous work is canterbury tales it is like this tale of uh, 30 pilgrims who were going to the uh, shrine of thomas becket okay so geoffrey chaucer's work falls into three periods okay how many periods does his work fall into three periods his work falls into three periods okay number 1 is During the first period he imitated French models while in the second period which lasted from 1373 through 84 shows the influence of Italian literature especially of Dewan, Dante's Divine Comedy and Boccaccio's poems while the third period which started from 1884 and went up to a 1390 is called as the English period because in this period during the, this period he threw off the foreign influences and shows native originality okay 
Then we have Chaucer's successors. Chaucer successors. Okay. After Geoffrey Chaucer, there was a decline in English poetry for about hundred years. Okay. What happened after Geoffrey Chaucer? There was a decline in English poetry for about hundred years, and some of the minor poet, also called as the successors of Chaucer's, are O'Keeffe, Lydgate, Hoyes, Skelton, Dunbar, and Douglas. These are some of the poets who are who are known as the successors of Chaucer. Okay. That's it for today guys. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and listening to me. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Allah face.